So what is up guys, we come paintball here today. Uh this week's video actually started up a little bit late, like I always post um every Sundays, but I think this video might come out this video is um this video is basically just running late because it's just it's not on a Sunday and that's when I usually schedule that's when I usually schedule my videos, but hopefully I'll just get back on track with my next video which is actually uh, MagFed with walk-ons, which I actually had, uh, which I was actually playing MagFed paintball with a bunch of uh, walk-ons with uh, speedballers and uh, wood ball players and um, all those type of people. So got a little bit hectic out there. Um, I actually did want to maybe say in, in advance that I did have a lot of lock balls problems there because I thought my paint actually that I was using was pretty well but it turns out that it wasn't so I actually had a lot of lock bolts a lot a lot of uh, lock bolts problems that day so so yeah so basically I just wanted to let you know in advance and this week's video is actually going to be a gear show because for 2016 because basically I have new gear I have old gear you know, I used to have my Cronus, now I have a new gun, and now I have a, uh, you, know, you don't even know if I have a new tank, or maybe I have a new remote one. So I wanted to just uh, give a gear show and show exactly what I was using before I actually started getting into my next um, uh, gameplay videos. So uh, first, I wanted to start off with my air tank. Uh, this is just a basic uh, standard air tank, just a speedball, woods ball, uh, empire steel tank. Uh, nothing special about it. Comes with a regular regulator, and that's basically it. So yeah, that's just my tank that I use. Just a pretty standard uh, Empire steel tank. Uh, next up, I got a Ninja remote line. Uh, this one comes with the Ninja uh, on and off switch for the remote line, so it'd be very accessible to switch to different markers if you wear a if you want to air up a different marker. Um, Basically, I bought this from Skirmish USA, and it's actually a pretty good remote line. I still use this. I had probably a little bit of problems with it, but still ran uh, pretty well. So, yeah. So, this is my remote line that I use, and I want to just get to my marker that I use already. So, my marker here is actually a MagFed marker. This is the Wrap Force 468. comes with, I actually customized this. On the um, uh, basically, I customized this on uh, on uh, rap4.com, and basically, I customized it with Helix magazines. Now, I don't run one Helix mag, but I used to run um, six Helix magazines. Unfortunately, I sort of lost one, so now I just have five. But hopefully, I'll maybe get a sixth one sometime later. And um, so usually I'd run six, but maybe for now I'd have five. So yeah. Uh, next up, I have another thing about my Rap Force Estate. I have the RIS shroud. It's actually one of the popular shrouds right here. Oh, let me just get a view. Um, so basically, many. This is like one of the popular shrouds on Rap4.com. This is the RIS shroud. It's very basic, very standard. Looks very great with your barrel. Um, so basically, it's just a four rear rail. There's a rail on top. There's a rail on the two sides right there, and there's a rail on the bottom. So you see a rail on the side, a rail over here, rail shroud, and that's basically just what this what this uh, shroud is. It looks very cool, and just gives it some great looks to it. Uh, next up, I have my foldable grip. Now, the reason why I got this foldable grip is that um, uh, you can fold it this way if you're uh, shooting from afar, and you can fold it this way um, if you're shooting from up close, maybe CQB or something, and it gives you a lot of options, and that's what I really like about this grip. So, uh, yeah. Also, if you're in tight spots, it just right comes very in handy. Uh, next up, I got my flip up sight right here, just a basic uh, standard M16 uh, slash, you know, AR, AR sight, flip up sight. 
and uh, and then that's just basic uh, standard flip up sights. So yeah, you could get a front and a rear flip up sight, but I only have a front. So yeah. Um. Next up, I have a Spider uh, threaded stainless steel barrel, a uh, 12 inch, and basically the shroud is. I think a eight inch, maybe a uh, eight inch or probably not a ten inch, but I'm guessing this is a eight inch RS RIS shroud. And then I also got on top of that a M4 uh, K uh, M4 uh, muzzle brake, which just gives it some complete looks to the marker, which actually makes it look very good. Uh, next up. I got a, a remote line stock uh, gives you access to air, uh, air tanks that may give you a lot more uh, a lot more shots and maybe a lot more efficiency to it that was actually the reason why I got this uh, stock but I might go from an upgrade to the air intake stock because it's just more uh, light more portable and uh, and basically and basically I'm just bad with remote lines so I just I thought maybe I'll go for an upgrade sometime later but for now I'm just I'm using the remote line stock so this is basically what I'm using for now and uh, and that's basically it uh, next up I got the modern combat solutions patch if you see my picture on the videos or if you see me playing you'll see me wear this patch this uh, modern combat solution patch or by a badge and basically all, all I would do is just stick this onto my shirt and I'll put the onto the shirt pocket with a D mag inside and it actually looks very great and it looks I, I think I love the looks of it and basically I just love this patch it came with my 468 and I just been wearing it ever since um, next up I got my uh, tank pouch this is from Valken, a uh, nice uh, air tank pouch from Valken. It just holds my t tank pouch, and I actually got this. This, and I actually got my skirmish remote, uh, my sorry, my ninja remote line from both. I got these items both from Skirmish USA, so I did not get these from Rap4, but I got these uh, from Skirmish USA, which is a awesome field uh, down at Pennsylvania. So. If you want, uh, go check them out. I'll leave a link in, link to their field down below in the description. Uh, next up, I got my Modern Combat Solution gloves. These were actually very good gloves. They protect my hands, and they just give you some comfort to it. So yeah, and I also got these on sale, uh, which they actually still have going on now. They still have a, a wrap four. Still has a. Uh, clearance sale. So if you want these gloves, you can still go and get them before their clearance sale goes down. Uh, next up, I got my magazine holders. These could hold uh, Milsig mags. Uh, they could hold Rap 4 mags. Basically, just pretty much any mags. Uh, Spider mags. Maybe not uh, Zeta mags and Tipex mags. Maybe these could hold the drum, ma the Tempest mags. I'm probably wouldn't even sure if they hold them, but they do hold. Uh, they definitely hold Rap Four mags. They work very well. Uh, quickly accessible to take them off and stuff. And they're just standard uh, U.S. Uh, military gear um, magazine holders. So yeah, they're just they're basic. They're good. Um, they're accessible really quick for a reload, and I just love these. So if you want, you can go these to Rap4. They still have a clearance sale on these also. Um, and if you want, you get these on sale for a cheaper price. So, so yeah. Uh, next up, um, just a standard walkie-talkie pouch. Uh, great for some extra space. Um, if you want, you can throw in a walkie-talkie. You can literally just throw anything that can fit in there, you know, uh, so it'll just be, um, it's just great for a good amount of space if you want, and you can just fit in many things in there, you can fit in your squeegee, you can fit in a lot of stuff in there, so basically it's just, just 
a basic pouch for uh, space. And it actually is very good. You could throw in a lot of things and it becomes very handy. Uh, next up, I got my battle cap. And I don't like, I don't like the much looks of a nice uh, military, I don't like the looks of a military helmet. I don't like really much the looks of Navy SEAL hats, but I do like the looks of the battle cap. They look really great. All I do is I take it, I wear it backwards. It looks like this. I lay it in. You can see it. And it looks it looks very great. It looks awesome. It gives that great look of a heavy gunner or something. Or not even if it just it just, it just looks really great. I love this cap. And this this just looks great. Uh, feels breathable. Feels awesome. Uh, looks great. Goes very well with my uniform, and I just love these caps. So, so yeah. So also, Rat Four has a clearance sale on these, and if you really want to get these, uh, go to you know Rat4.com. You know, I'll actually leave a link down below in the description if you want to go and check them out. But I have uh, more stuff from them. I have a shirt, and this is not only a comfy shirt, but looks great. Not only that, you got a lot of room up in the sleeves right here. This is actually exactly where I keep my D mag right here. Uh, and then also, you got a lot of extra room, extra pockets. Uh, got excellent sleeves, uh, tightener strap. And I think not only does this look comfortable, but looks very effective for any type of scenario player and I would totally recommend these and these are also on sale at uh, at USMG uh, clearance sale and you can get them on rap4.com uh, uh, next up I got the USMG pants very great has a lot of room to it wait a second has a lot of pockets a lot of room to it I have a pocket here you have a pocket also here great you know a lot of room uh, you can throw in your magazines you can throw in whatever you want in them very convenient very great uh, very good um, uh, also very comfortable and it looks very good and if you want also these are on sale at wrap at uh, USMG clearance sale at wrap4.com and I think not only do these does this stuff look great, but it looks but it makes you look effective. And also it's very comfortable and I would just totally, you know, for comfort and just for great looks, I would totally recommend them, you know, if you're a paintball player or you or you wanna just look good on the field because I, I remember back in the day I used to just wear a sweater, I used to wear black pants and I just wish to you I used to wear boots and a and a black junkie cap. But I think I looked horrible. I did not look organized. I did not look effective. I was just some random player who just looked horrible on the field. And now with this clearance sale on Route 4, and when I got all this stuff, I think I looked better. I looked effective. I looked uh, more organized. And I think it just gives me a whole look, different look, you know, of you know, how, uh, a different feel of how I look and maybe, you know, how I play and maybe how people even want me on their team, you know. Some people, if they if they uh, see a person that looks uh, very effective, you know, they're going to be impressed. They're going to say, hey, I want this guy on my team, you know. So I just wanted to keep going out with the gear show. So I just want to show you I have a couple more items. I have my vest. This is a NC Star uh, Molly vest. I got this for I got this for 30 bucks. It has a lot of modeling. You know, you could uh, mount many modules with Molly like this. Not only that, it has a lot of room up here. Very good for space also. And it has the same pocket on the other side. Not only that, it has a back pocket too. Right here. Also has some Velcro if you want to put a name tag or something. And also a lot more Molly down here. And I think it just looks fantastic. 
and uh, I wouldn't totally recommend this vest to anyone because this vest, I feel like even if you could tighten it up and down, it still comes in a certain size. And I think maybe I'm just getting too small for this vest. And also the mesh just it doesn't the mesh doesn't uh, feel that it doesn't feel that it works for me. So whatever, I'm not impressed with this vest. But if you want, you can go on Amazon or eBay and you could just find this vest. Just type in NC Star uh, Molly vest. You get these. I think you, I think you could just mostly get these in green. Maybe they have it in tan. But they probably for sure maybe have one of these in black. Uh, they also go well for not just paintball, but they go well for airsoft too. So yeah, this is not also for, this is not for Map Four, but you could definitely get a similar vest like this on Map Four. But this is not, but it's not like the vest that I wear. So so uh, just uh, maybe I'll switch to something that that is from Map Four. But for now, this is what I use. Um, so yeah, uh, next up, just very simple, um, this is something that every paintball player must have, I think, especially if you're playing in the woods, and I think it's good to have boots on you. Now these boots, I don't really clean them, but they are decent boots and they're actually wearing out. These are just uh, regular Timberland boots, as you can see right there, it's made from Timberland, and you can see the bottom there, it's all dirty and everything, but this, these are just basic standard boots. And I think if you're playing paintball, you should have boots with you at all times. I'm saying speed bowler, um, was ball player. I think everyone should have a good pair, a good pair of shoes for the woods because, as you know, the woods could get muddy. It could get, it could get, it could get muddy. You know, it could get rainy outside, and it, or maybe you have a lot of rocks to climb or something. And I think. It's always a good handy thing to have boots on you because uh, I think it's always a good thing to have boots on you for the matter for the terrain. If you're wearing regular shoes and you're going through you know bad terrain, I think your shoes are going to get ruined, and I think yeah, I, I think it's just going to give you a headache. And I uh, you know, and then at the end of the day, you might have a hole in your shoe. Or you might it might have rips or whatever you might have you might have to just throw out your shoes and get a whole new pair and I think it is not worth it for you so get a pair of boots is the best thing you could ever get in the paintball field I I've wear boots maybe uh, near the beginning since I had my nearly my own equipment my my own my own uh, gun since I had my Cronus I always wear a pair of boots and I think you should also wear a pair of boots. Last but not least to have on my gear show is my mask. This is the best mask. I've already given a review on I've already given a, a review on this. Such a good mask. I really love this. It matches the profile on my face. <coughs> I love the visor. It looks really great. I love the style of it. The lens uh, lens is spot on. Uh, barely fogged on me, which is very good for for a fifty dollar mask. I, I just love it. Uh, nice sil silicone strap, so it doesn't come off your head. Actually, I don't put this behind my hair, but I put this actually behind my cap. But <coughs> whatever. Um, uh, also, the front has a nice um, a rubber feel to it. That the, the Bottom part has a nice rubber feel for, to it for uh, bounces if you ever get shot at. Uh, the foam is really great. Did not even break on me yet. It did not, it didn't even break on me yet. No matter how hard I sweat, I think this foam just works so good. Um, as far as lens, uh, as far as as far as this mask goes, I think it's great. The price that I paid for it was totally worth it. Um, I would totally recommend this mask to anyone. Uh, if you want, you can go into Walmart or uh, you go on eBay, you go on Amazon. You could go find one of these masks. This is the Tipman Intrepid. As you see, I also had my uh, camera mount to it right there. But this is the Tipman Intrepid mask. Now, there are many other Tipman masks. 
But this one, the Titman Intrepid, yeah, let me sorry, basically the best that I've ever, you know, the best mask I've ever seen out of Titman. And I think I like this mask, and I think I'm going to keep sticking to this mask. This is something that I actually used from the beginning, and I'm still using using it now. You know, I'm still going to keep using this uh, later on. I don't think I need a better mask than this. I mean, like, this is such a good mask. And that is it. That is all my gear I use. Um, hope you like this video. I hope you like. I uh, hope you like uh, like my gear show today. And um, uh, I will bring a, my. I will start bringing in my gameplay videos from Magfed with walk-ons. Uh, but I will also try um, Magfed with walk-ons starting from next Sunday and uh, hopefully I'll just keep up the pace uh, uploading every Sunday and uh, that is really much it. See you next time.